Hi and welcome back to Bike Speed. So this week we're going to detail this Claude Butler mountain bike. As you can see it's a very dirty, very tired bike. You might question why on earth anyone would actually spend money having this serviced and having the drivetrain replaced when the bike on the surface may not be worth an awful lot. But bikes are sentimental to people. They also serve a purpose to people. This rider is actually quite a short rider. She's obviously we're going through at the time of filming this the world has been going through the pandemic in various areas around the world which means parts are extremely scarce and on the back of that so too at this stage are bikes you can't just walk in and order any bike you like you're very limited to the stocks that retailers currently have and this lady had looked for a bike for herself but she couldn't find one currently in stock she, like I say she's quite a short rider so this is a very small bike but it serves a purpose she uses it daily so we decided we would clean it up for it. So you can see here things like that cable where they're kinked and bent. It all means that things aren't running as smoothly as they should. Everything's worn so we put an entire new drivetrain on this. We're doing all the cables and giving the bike a full detail. This is actually someone I know from my childhood. So when she went ahead with the group set replacement parts, I decided that I would also detail the bike for her. I haven't actually told her at this stage so she'll see this video and probably be quite surprised. Front derailleur was seized completely, the actuator was moving on the shifter, the cable was moving freely but the derailleur itself was completely seized up. So we'll get that into the ultrasonic cleaner, give that a clean up and re-grease and get that flowing again. So we replaced all the cables on this bike, you can see here how this is frayed off. This is all the sort of thing that just begins to stop the bike working efficiently and as smoothly as it did the day it left the factory, which is what our intention is to do here. So in the tops of the shifters, we had spider webs and, and spider eggs and everything else in there. Again, that all slows things up. So we get everything off. The brakes, the posts I was going to re-grease so we get all, you can see how thick the mud is in here. And all that grittiness, that all, again, that all stops everything running as smoothly as it should do. So we get all this off, get it all cleaned up, and this bike will look lovely when it's done. So we add on here an old bracket no longer used the customer had already told me that so we took that off you can see how that frame is absolutely caked this one's used in the countryside daily it's far from a loved bike but it is a cherished bike so yeah we're going to get this absolutely ready to ride again you can see even these adjusters on the brakes were thick in sort of debris dirt grease and again we put that through the ultrasonic cleaning you'll see that shortly when it comes back out how much of a difference we can make to even a part like that which means that adjusting the brakes and everything would be much easier in the future took out all the accessory bolts they'd all gone rusty so we replaced those with stainless steel ones just to sort of one of those little details that really makes the bikes bike stand out and you know it doesn't cost a lot just to replace those bolts for a customer and it can make all the difference long term to the bike because they're now stainless steel so we're cleaning up that front derailleur which we've Put through the ultrasonic cleaner we didn't actually need a lot of ultrasonic cleaning on this bike because most of the parts are being replaced you can see there the little adjusters that came out absolutely spotless and they're now flowing nicely a few nuts and bolts and odds and ends there that we need to replace the covers off the shifters we give them a wash down they had a lot of spiders eggs inside the tops of those so we give those a wash through as well lubricated and greased and oiled the front derailleur that's now smooth as can be changed the free hub body there that's a seven speed and then I adjusted the bearings on the back wheel which we didn't actually show on camera because I wasn't sure at the stage whether we were going to replace them or just adjust them so I adjusted them up and that was fine so we, we left that part of it but we washed the rim now we're using wire wool here on the spokes to run up and down them and you can see how you can see how those shiny ones there and dull ones really made a huge difference to those spokes they weren't stainless steel they, they were some form of steel and we got them as good as we could get them now pet hate of mine as i'm sure you're all aware of in previous videos and subscribe if you uh here for the first time because you'll see this a lot where i change the logos on the tires to go over the valves because it's attention to detail like that that we're renowned for also change that valve cap from a blue one to a black one so as it matched the front again one of those attention to details on goes the new cassette and uh, that was talked up and now we move to the frame we've used our soap cleaner on there and left that to settle in and then we're just using our nice soft nylon brush to wash down the bike big softy we sell those in store 
and then we're just brushing in close into the, into the tighter parts that that thicker brush doesn't get to so you can see here how we just wash off these parts it all begins to come up nicely those brake posts again we're going to re-grease those and lubricate them and then I use the brush on the shifters with the head with the tops off we don't want to get that too wet because there's a lot of grease and oil in there we will re-oil that yeah it was just a case of cleaning out everything in there it was it was so thick this bike with there was a lot of dusty dirt on this bike it wasn't thick mud it was just a dusty dirt so we just measure across the frame just to see where we're at for the thickness of the paint we start to detail this by t-cutting it now some frames when we t-cut them they absolutely pop out to us this frame was well loved well worn well knocked well dinged about and it didn't come up brilliantly but the one advantage we did have with this frame was it as an aluminium frame so where it had gone through the paint which was pretty much all over it uh, it hadn't gone rusty so when we polished it it actually ended up looking quite nice even though it was well dinged you know you can get the little blackness that comes off of a chip and the sort of little black edge you get you can polish that off and almost hide it from your eye once we tea cut it we give it a super resin polish give that frame a nice resin clean up and it just stops any future mud from sticking so fiercely when I put this uh, rid railia hanger on I'd noticed that it was bent when I took it off so the first thing I did was to put the wheel on and then I aligned the derailleur hanger I always use the valve as you can see there the valve of the wheel because you don't know that the wheel's true so if you're spinning around the wheel who's to say that you're not a few millimeters out so we just use that valve and we just adjust that rear derailleur hanger realigned that before putting on our brand new derailleur so as you can see we're putting on new parts on this bike new chain set so we've got new chain set new cassette new chain new derailleur new cables with the exception of the front derailleur this bike is ready to do thousands of miles more although not a brand new bike it will ride as good as a new bike now so on go to pedals a little bit of copper slip on the threads of those that'll stop them sticking and make them easy to change torqued up correctly 40 newton meters for a pedal on goes the front derailleur again we torque up every single fitting now we're just going to size the chain smallest gear on the front smallest gear on the rear make sure that your derailleur has got a little bit of tension on it that gives you the length of your chain and the quick release link there and then we're starting to put the brakes back together so grease the, the post as you can see there put the brake on in its correct hole torque up the fitting both sides and then we start to get the new brake pads on so again brand new brake pads so although the component the original arm is original we've got new pads new cables new v pulley guides yeah this this bike will be as good as new when it leaves the shop you can see we're just sorting those out now all the little ends and a bit of a fiddle we gradually get them all set up so this is the front brake so you can see once i've done this up that the right hand or the left hand as the rider's riding it the right one here is flowing in and out the left one's not moving at all so it's not releasing evenly on your braking surface so we just adjust that to make sure that the brake is working smoothly both sides torque up the even the pads we torque those up everything we torque up in goes that spotlessly clean adjuster and we now start to progress onto the rear brake so if you're new to our channel please subscribe like the video comment on the video we do try to reply to most of the comments so um, it's always good to chat with you and see where we're at with the channel which we're growing nicely now and we're quite happy with the way the channel's growing so stick around so you can see there we adjust the rear brake yeah this is coming along nicely now i always enjoy doing this sort of work and you can see there i'm just oiling up the shifter itself because they they're greased originally but the grease goes hard and dries out and yeah so we just re-oil everything there let's say i always enjoy these videos I, I i love doing a bike like this where i'm doing it everything where i strip the bike off and redo everything because you can almost feel the bike coming back to life and it's a nice feeling when you see all the sparkly bits and everything clean and you know it's a real joy to to do a job like this I, I do get an awful lot of satisfaction out of doing a bike like this especially where the customers agreed on you know going the whole hog with the bike it's it's really nice to do a no expense spared restoration and clean up on a bike it's a real pleasure and this one was no exception to that made all the more pleasurable by the fact that the owner of this bike I used to do judo with many many years ago I did judo for over 20 years and we did judo together and childhood memories and yeah it was a pleasure to see this rider and 
pleasure to do the bike so this was a great one for me I enjoyed this bike so we're now just adjusting up all the gears here we always do the rear first then we do the front derailleur because the low setting on that has to be done in gear one on the rear to get that in the right position so we do the rear first then I do the front which is what I'm now doing it's just the way around that I, I work there's no right or wrong way really but it's the way that I do it so uh, you can see I'm just putting that front cable on there I'm using stainless steel cables throughout this bike I don't use galvanized steel cables because they do stretch the stainless steel cables don't stretch as much they're a much much better cable to be honest with you you're just a cheapskate if you're a shop putting in galvanized cables although they're readily available I never use them I only ever use stainless steel cables on any bike it doesn't matter whether it's a bike that's, that's not worth an awful lot of money or whether it's a £10,000 bike I get the best cables I can and they all get the same cables so we had this saddle here moving around so she would have uh, felt that every pedal stroke that the, the saddle was loose so we sorted that out and then we're putting in these nice new stainless steel bolts there was actually eight of these on this bike just a detail that makes the bikes you know just pop out at you and then we're just using the silicon detailing spray here it just makes it nice and shiny as you can see from these before and after shots we've even cleaned the tires on this bike as you can see there and silicon detail on it just makes it absolutely stand out and you can see what amazing difference this bike is from start to finish so you can book on our website you can book services and things so if you're local to me book in and get your bike sorted out and maybe it'll be your bike featured next video so thanks for watching and take care and we'll see you next week.